Welcome back to the FlipNerd.com REI Classroom, where experts from across the real estate investing industry teach you quick lessons to take your business to the next level. And now, let's meet today's expert host. Hi, my name is Pete Newbig, co-founder of Empire Industries Property Management, and I'm the host of the REI Classroom. And today, our topic is, should I hire a property manager? This show is sponsored by PassiveRental.com. So hiring a property manager is not right for, for just anyone. Um, there's some items to think about to determine if a property management company is right for you. So when, when uh, my business partner and I talk to investors like, you, like yourselves, we always ask them what their goals are and we also determine if a property management company is right for them. And so one of the things that we talk about or one of the things you should think about is are you a landlord or a business owner? There's a different mindset between someone who's building a real estate business versus someone who is a landlord. So, do you want to spend your time doing your uh, spend your time performing low level, low enjoyment activities? And if you find landlording are those low level, low enjoyment activities, then a property management company might be right for you. For example, changing out a toilet, showing your property, screening a tenant are all examples of low level, low enjoyment activities. So, where is your time better spent? Is it better spent networking? Is it better spent getting educated? creating strategic alliances, or just spending time with your family on some, uh, on some you know, high-level, high-enjoyment tasks. Uh, I always ask people, you've hired a, a realtor to, buy, to find your property, you've hired a mortgage company to help with the mortgage, you've hired an insurance broker to insure your property, you buy this great asset, and then you want to learn how to be a landlord or learn how to be a property manager. Most residents have been residing or, or have been leasing for years and years and years, and most landlords have only been in the business, or most investors have only been in the business a couple of years. They, I think that the resident, somebody who's been leasing their whole life, knows a little bit more of what's going on than somebody who's just being uh, just started investing. So that was that's the first thing to think about. Another thing is, do you own a couple of homes? Are they rented by long-term residents, and you don't have any issues? If so, maybe self-managing is good for you. You know, you've already had them uh, for a while and you're not having any problems, then maybe a management company is not for you. Maybe when a problem does arise, you hire a management company. Are you looking to purchase more investments? Uh, a management company typically have investor deals that their current investors are selling and you offer deals to their existing clients before they hit the MLS. So, for example, we have one right now, you know, we call them pocket listings in the biz, uh, but we have one right now uh, where one of our investors are looking to sell a property. Uh, as a management company, we know the history of the property. We know who we put in there. Um, so we, we have, you know, we have good historical data and we've sent that off to our owners first, our, our, our clients, and now a client is going to get a great deal on, on a property. So it's, it's not just the management fees that you have to pay, but you, you have to look at who the management company is and, and they have potential deals which can be worth thousands and thousands of dollars. Another thing, are you a do-it-yourselfer? Um, do you do your own taxes? Do you fix your own car? Do you clean your own house, et cetera, et cetera? So uh, basically, you have trust issues, and no one can do as good a job as you. And we get that. There are people out there like that. Um, if you are a do-it-yourselfer, then most likely, you'll not be able to let go and allow someone else to manage your property. You, you know, that's somebody who, who should self-manage. Uh, believe me, the property manager does not want you to manage the property through them. Like, uh, like a puppeteer uh, and they're the puppet. Uh, it's almost impossible for us to manage properties for these type of owners when they're involved in every aspect. They want to know every little thing that's going on with the property and then they want us to do it a certain way because that's the way they want it done. That is not the right person for a management company. At that point, you'd be better to learn all of the legal uh, aspects and manage your own property. Do you live in town? If not, definitely get a property manager. Uh, it's very difficult to manage a property when you're you know, outside of the city or, or outside of the state or outside of the country. Okay? Um, I have an agent who go to property for me when, uh, for free when I need something. You get what you pay for and if an agent is desperate enough to work for you, uh, they are giving you property management service that is worth what they are charging. So this, ha what, what I mean by this is you're an investor, somebody, uh, a, a real estate agent helps you buy the property, they may even help you lease the property, and next thing you know, you're asking them to collect rent or tank on maintenance and stuff like that, and they don't charge anything for that. Well, 
you have to remember the cheaper is not always cheaper and they're not charging because uh, they don't really know the laws they, they're not property managers and so there's a little bit difference of, of, ha of hiring a property management company and having somebody manage the property for you uh, having a property management company who is certified who has continuing education that is somebody you want, you, you want on your team especially when you're going to court uh, so you want to make sure like so if you have somebody that's just managing your property and they're not really charging you but they pro they're probably are not doing a very good job and you may want to hire a management company if you are familiar with fair housing and you understand your local property codes you're familiar with the tax code and you have a bunch of time uh, a spare time on your hands and uh, a bunch of partners from landscaping to insurance and you do not want to grow your business then self-management is definitely for you if you want to grow your business and create leverage and be a CEO of your business, believe me, um, the city believes your business, the resident believes your business, the state believes your business, the taxing authority believes your business. Everybody says your business. The one person who doesn't believe their business is typically the investor, the, the business owner. So those are my tips and tricks um, for, uh, you know, should I hire a property manager? Again, my name is Pete Newbig, co-founder of Empire Industries Property Management. And uh, if you want to learn more about us, you can go to our website. We have a blog page with hundreds of videos and lots of great information for free. We don't even ask you to sign up for anything. Or you can email me at Pete at EmpireIndustriesLLC.com or give us a call at 888-866-6727. And if you have homes in the Houston area, we'd be more than happy to, to talk to you. PassiveRental.com is your source for turnkey, done-for-you rental properties. If you'd like to be an investor and not a landlord, please visit PassiveRental.com to learn how to purchase cash-flowing, professionally managed rental properties in the hottest rental markets across the country. We can also help connect you with financing for your next property. Invest the easy way today and get started by visiting PassiveRental.com. Please note, the views and opinions expressed by the individuals in this program do not necessarily reflect those of FlipNerd.com or any of its partners, advertisers, or affiliates. Please consult professionals before making any investment or tax decisions, as real estate investing can be risky. Are you a member yet of FlipNerd.com, the hottest real estate investing social community online? If not, you can join for free in less than 30 seconds and get access to hundreds of off-market deals, vendors in your market to help you in your business. And you can start networking with thousands of other investors just like you. Get your free account now at FlipNerd.com. Please check out the FlipNerd family of real estate investing shows, where you can access hundreds of expert interviews, quick tips, and lessons from leaders across the real estate investing industry. They're available at FlipNerd.com shows, or simply search for FlipNerd in the iTunes store.